Hey guys, I'm Daisho, and I'm here bringing you another arena run. I already did two. The first one I did okay, I think I got like five wins or something like that, and then the last one, or maybe I only got three. No, I think the first one I only got three. And then the last one that I did, or that I uploaded, I got nine. But that was my first nine, and since then that's my only nine, even though I've played a bunch since then. So I'm going to be labeling this one Arena Run 3, just for your simplicity. But this is not the third time I've done the arena. I've done it probably closer to six times, six or seven, maybe. Yeah, around, probably seven times. But anyway, we're ready to go. And choose our hero. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go with Shaman. We already did a warrior and a paladin run? Is that true? Was my last one a paladin run? I can't even remember. Um, but I'm also not even level 10 with Shaman yet, so... I can, can get all, unlock all the basic cards. Alright, so we start out with a legendary. Destroy your opponent's weapon and draw cards equal to its durability. We've had the Black Knight before, and then this is whenever a player casts a spell, put a copy into the other player's hand. Oh my god, that is confusing. Um, I mean, obviously, if this ever happens, it's ridiculous. And sort of true with the Black Knight as well, but I was really hoping that if I was going to get a Legendary, that it would be one of the ones that just, like, win you the game on the spot. If this guy was like a 2-mana 4-4, four four, that would make sense, because then like you put him on the board, and then your opponent has to try and deal with it, and you just get to keep drawing cards, and then once they finally kill it, you can start playing the cards out. But as it sits, I don't really think that's so good. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, some of, some of your opponents are going to have weapons, but not that many, and they're not always going to have it. I think I'm going to go with the Black Knight. It's a little boring since we've already had one, but... Alright, so both of these two cards are pretty decent. Um, I've, I was really excited about this guy in one of my drafts, but he ended up being only okay, and I'm in this... Yeah, alright. I mean, we'll go for it, but it's not it's not like insane. So, um, Forked Lightning is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, if you've ever played with this card and with like Spell Power Plus cards, then you're just like, wow, that's... Or played against it, I mean, I've never played with it. But then you just start to understand how unfair it is. Um, these other two things are fine, but it's not really going to be close. Um, I think this Fen Creeper is better than the Shield Bearer in terms of taunters, even though this one's a lot more expensive. Just the zero power taunt doesn't really do me too much good, I don't think. Okay, so immediately we have a pretty tough decision. Cause this Fire Elemental is really sweet, the ability to just be a very big body that can just come down and kill something or deal a bunch of damage is great. But I think I'm going to end up going with this Flame Tongue Totem. It's so powerful in, in the Totem deck, or in, in with this uh, Lord. So yeah, I'm going to go with the, the Dark Iron Dwarf here. Okay, um, probably going to go with the Dire Wolf Alpha. Deal one damage to an enemy character and freeze it seems okay too. Um, especially if I'm going to try and pick up some more pow spell power stuff. But I think just the thing that will assuredly be good in my deck is a little bit better. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted to go with some some spell damage plus one kind of stuff, but there's Feral Spirit in this pack, and this card is just unbelievable. So I'm going to have to take that one. Yeah, I like this guy a lot. I like Lightning Bolt too, but I think this guy, because, I mean... He's really sweet to play on turn one, unless your opponent's Jaina, in which case they can just either play on their turn two, fireball it, fire blast it rather, or they can um, ramp into it. But I'm still going to go ahead and take it, I think. Alright, I don't really get the point of this guy. I mean, I know that you can like silence him and then it works, but that doesn't seem so good. Um, this guy, I just don't really understand why he's a rare at all. So I'm just going to take Sunwalker, which is just a good card. Whew. So we have a choice here. Um, we've already got some Overload cards, so this thing seems kind of good, but not like insane. I mean, a 3 mana 3-5 would be okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go with that. So it's either Forked Lightning or Dust Devil. And I think, like, if I have multiple Dust Devils, that'll be really sweet. But Forked Lightning is also a really just a powerful card. Well, I don't have anything that says 
spell power plus one, so it's it's like good now, but it's not insane. So I'm just gonna go with the Dust Devil. Um, let's see. Yeah, we don't really have too much to take advantage of the Ancient Brewmaster, but that being said, there's not much here that I want either, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take it. Okay. Um, the axe is actually pretty good. So is actually all of these are pretty good, but I'm gonna go with the wind speaker. I think it just so many games have just been won and lost by me by that card coming down. Um, so the flesh eating ghoul is fine, but I'm just gonna go with frost elemental. Like the card, pretty easy um, axe here. Yeah, shield master, always good. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, another Fork Lightning. Very happy to see that. So we're at 17 cards here. I think I'm going to go with the Yeti. Do have some 4 drops. Not much on the on 5. So maybe I should go for the Fen Creeper. I do like I really like the Yeti. I mean just the, just the giant creature. As opposed to like the mediocre taunter. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Yeti. Alright, so now I have a choice. I can go for the spell damage plus one, but I really only have one thing that deals damage. I'm already most, or like more than halfway through, so I think I'd rather just have the tiger in this kind of deck. Okay. Uh, probably gonna go with Master Swordsmith. I mean, it's pretty sweet to go Dust Devil. Oh no, I can't do that, because he has Overload too. Um... I don't have that many spells for this thing. I already have a Sunwalker, and while it is really good, I think I'd rather just have the Master Swordsmith here. Um, I really do like this guy. Not as much in this deck as most. So I'm going to go... Because I don't have anything to pump it, and I don't have... Um, in, my last, in my last playthrough, I was playing as a Warlock. And so there was, like, mortal coils in my deck that can just double as, like, a way to enrage it. And then, um, I can't remember. The one that gives plus four, plus four, and then is about to kill it. But, yeah, I'm just going to take another one speaker. Um, yeah, I don't really want any of these cards. I don't have any ways to heal. Um, I, I don't want people to be drawing you cards. I don't want a, a four or five that can't attack. This is just uh, disappointing. I guess I'm gonna go with the the Oracle. Uh, it's fine. I think we go with the that thing. Give your totems plus two health. That doesn't seem that good. I'm gonna go for this. I don't have too many overload spells that it'll be amazing, but I have a few. At the end of your turn, give another random friend. Uh, yeah. I guess that seems good. Abomination also seems fine, but not, like, insane. Really, like, maybe I should just take it, actually. I mean, I want to I want to have, like, a pretty low curve, but... Yeah, I, I think I just want this thing. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Got another Flame Tongue Totem. Ooh, okay, good decision here. Flame Tongue Totem number three, or Iron Beak Owl number one. I really have almost no removal in this deck. And I like have no way to deal with giant things, so I'm gonna take the uh, the owl here. As I was just saying, I have no way, to, no removal, so I definitely want to take that. And uh, probably a second axe here. I like the axe. Not too big a fan of the rockbiter weapon. And for my last thing, I think I'm just gonna take this twilight drink. All right, so deck did not turn out as amazing as it could have, or as I guess I hoped it would. But still not a terrible deck, and uh, definitely something that I can help out with. Or help out with? Definitely something that I can, uh, I can win some games with. Alright, so we're playing against a Hunter. Not really much to say about it, I guess. It's just kind of happening. But this is a pretty good hand, I think. Because um, I have Twilight Drake in my opener, which is usually pretty good and I also have a dust devil and I'm going on turn one he, he's not Jaina or anything so it probably means that I'll be able to hit him for six Greetings, and like he's gonna have to throw he's gonna have to throw a dude at it so I mean it sort of is 
okay for him. But also, the fact that I have Overload spells plus Twilight Drake means that I'm not playing too many spells before turn 4. So, that's pretty good. But, I mean, this is just one of the most terrifying things that you can see on turn 1 in this game. And if he doesn't have a 1-drop here, then I'm probably just going to get to hit him for 12. Like, what? I guess he has the coin, so he can pretty much assuredly play a 2-drop. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to be able to um, kill with a Novice Engineer, which is pretty good for, for him. But... I do still get to hit him for six, and then he has to attack me. He had to waste the coin already. So, I mean, there are some good things about it, but some bad. I'm um, not sure. I think I might go for the Feral Spirit this turn. Okay, so he played a secret, which is likely to be a snipe. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go for this. I could have just... Job's done. Oh, he was not a snipe. So that means that it's probably... Um, or I guess... It could be an explosive trap or a misdirection. I'm starting to learn what some of the secrets are. Um, it could be like a snake trap. All right, that's a pretty good one for him here because that completely walls off my two threes. Um, I could silence that, but what I think I'm going to do is just play this this guy, and um, then next turn I can kill one of his guys. He's probably just going to kill that thing now that I think about it. Maybe I should have just silenced that and attacked. I don't know. That was pretty good for him. the the three three taunter right there so i mean he's at 24 in the end and he's doing okay maybe a feral spirit on turn Your three was a mistake okay i mean the fact that i was able to um yeah i mean the end result was not too bad for me there okay well i could forked lightning yeah like i could fork lightning and then kill that thing with this and attack him could just play this tiger mm. no I think I think I actually do want to do that I get to take his 4-3 off the board still have a 3-3 taunter okay sure um, and then I still get to play this oh shoot I messed up I was supposed to play the twilight drake first though it ended up being better for me because um, I end up with only 4 health but I saved two damage because it was... But what I was supposed to... No, I guess I did it correctly. If I was playing around Explosive Trap. Right, Random Beast Companion should be pretty good for him. This guy's... Yeah, he's fine. Like, he's not insane. But he's probably just going to shoot me. No, no, he's got... Sure, Hunter's Mark is just a pretty terrible card. To be honest. I mean, he just used a card... And then I can still trade with something, so I don't know. Um, yeah, there's there's very little chance that I'm going to use that. Oh, that's a sweet one because I get to start building my health back on that guy. So I think I'm actually just going to hit him. He's going to have to trade for my um, my feral spirit anyway this turn, um, especially because he won't be able to the next turn, and. Yeah, I'm going to be able to hit him for what, like... Well, I mean, he's probably got some sort of removal or, or, or like, a taunter or something. But, I mean, I'm going to be able to play a... S That's weird. I don't really understand his sequencing there. He should have played this... Like, he has... First of all, he has to... Well, he goes to one. Oh, no, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. Um, let's think about this. Five, six, seven, eleven. I mean, I could take him... Yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that, and that, and then trade there, play this thing, and then totem. Because I'm nowhere nowhere close to dying and I have a stealth tiger and that deck doesn't really have um I mean I guess he could play like a misdirection or something but, like it doesn't really have any way of dealing with this I don't think I mean like he could no he could play a deadly shot that would actually be very good for him especially if he kills one of these things oh, I forgot I had wrath of air totem forgot that was a way to to get this thing to be insane 
but um, I don't know what he was hoping for. Maybe he's got a deadly shot. Maybe he's hoping for a pig to just kill both of these things and then deadly shot kill this. That'd be pretty good for him. But, I mean, I still have Sunwalker. Yeah, you can't target this. So he has at least one thing to target, I guess, in his hand, which could be useful <laughs> later on down the road for me to know. Alright, there we go. He just uh, thought for a while and then gave up. So yeah, I think I think that I, I did pretty well with the play. There, yeah, give you a totem plus two health. Yeah, that's not too good. Alright, so we got a win. So a win and a draft. That should be should be enough for a video, right? Hope you guys enjoyed this one and have a wonderful day. Bye.